If you look back like 30, 40 years ago, even 20 years ago, fighting was quite, quite prominent. You know, there was probably a fight or two every single game. And there's been a lot of developments lately that kind of say, hey, like maybe fighting won't be as part of the game anymore. And some people are trying to hold on to it. So to answer the question, is fighting still part of the game? Yes or no? What's going on guys? This is Brayden from Advancement Hockey Advising here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking everything about fights in hockey and if they're still part of a game and what's going on with all these bans getting put on it. So you guys are probably surprised to see this topic on the channel here. Probably not the style that I give off as a fighter. I'm more of a lover, not a fighter kind of guy. And honestly, I've only been involved in like two fights in my whole career. So I'm not the most seasoned vet when it comes to talking about this, but I think it's an important topic to touch on because although fighting is controversial in the game and some people think it should just be banned altogether, it is still a part of the game that makes hockey very unique as a sport, okay? And there's been a lot of developments lately that kind of say, hey, like maybe fighting won't be as part of the game anymore. And some people are trying to hold on to it. So I think it's an important topic to touch on. And it's important for you guys to know, like even if you're not a fighter, how to defend yourself and how to carry yourself, okay? I think it's very, very important to know that. And you know, not a lot of people talk about this it kind of gets talked about in the locker room a little bit but it's not a topic touched on so much so I thought it was an important topic to touch on even though it kind of sways from our regular content here if you like these kind of videos absolutely destroy that like button and if you do actually no not destroy the like button absolutely punch that like button since it's in the theme of the video here if you're new here consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward and now let's dive right into the video here if fighting is still part of the game or not and what my thoughts are on fighting all right so to answer the question is fighting still part of the game yes or no well the answer is yes but not as much all right guys that's it for the video thanks so much no i'm kidding i'm kidding i'm not gonna just end the video on that so Anyways, yes, it is still part of the game, but not nearly as much as it used to be. If you look back like 30, 40 years ago, even 20 years ago, fighting was quite, quite prominent. You know, there was probably a fight or two every single game. Uh, and it was really, really like what made hockey and ga gave its identity, like the tough sport, you know? But more and more now, the game has transitioned to speed, skill, uh, hockey IQ. It's really transitioned more to that and less of a rough and tough type of game. Although for some teams in the NHL, if you look at it, it's starting to make a comeback. Some teams are going for bigger guys, stronger guys that don't get, you know, uh, kind of tossed around the corners and stuff. Although they're not fighting, teams are still looking for strength. So don't take my opinion here of saying fighting is like becoming a little bit less relevant with saying that, oh, like you don't need to be strong because teams really look for size and strength still. It's just not in terms of like cheap shots and fighting as much anymore. Although it's still part of the game. So why haven't we banned fighting altogether? Well, the reason is that fighting actually keeps players in check. And here's how. So if you didn't have any fighting, some players would just be taking cheap shots after cheap shots and although you can land a big hit on them sometimes it's harder to do than to just drop the gloves and go at them right away that's where people that like are pro fighting that's why they they want to keep it in the game because if a player starts doing a cheap shot or two on the star players you you can rest assured that their fighter is actually going to come in and you know really uh, give that player a lesson so it really keeps guys in checks not to give cheap shots and even like guys like to, to throw huge hits and do crazy things for the star players it, you know some players still do it but it really like not prevents but really disincentivizes people uh, to do that because if you do that then the fighter is still going to come after you so there is still a, a spot for fighting in the game and my opinion here is that actually it shouldn't be eliminated altogether because if it did it, you wouldn't be able to police these players that are doing cheap shots as much so i think yes there should be a role in it but again i don't think it's okay if a fighter goes after a star player you know typically that doesn't happen but i've seen it happen i think there should be more severe rules against that but to ban it altogether i think would be a mistake because you wouldn't be able to police as much if you did that. Now, I'm not saying uh, that you should go and fight every single guy every game. No, that's not the message here. Actually, I'm, I'm a proponent against that. I think if you're not a fighter and, you, and you're playing hockey, you're doing it because you love the game, don't don't just go and try and fight guys. You know, play play the game, work on your skill and all that stuff. And typically, like for me, I only got in two fights my entire junior career, my entire career altogether. So it really wasn't a part of my game. I just had to do it a few times to defend myself. But even then, I probably could have snuck out of it without fighting if I really didn't want to. So if you're not a fighter, if you're a guy that really wants to shy away from that stuff, you know, definitely train, be strong, be a guy that's respected and a guy that doesn't get pushed around, but don't go seeking fights. Just focus on your game. Fights probably won't come. I think it's it's a misconception that if you play hockey, you have to fight. It's, it's not true. If you're a guy that's more a skilled guy, you know, you have other guys on your teams that are there to protect you. But again, it's important to train and not to be pushed around either. So you have to kind of do both things to, to make sure that you're not pushed around, but just don't go looking for it and you'll be 
okay. So for anybody who's scared out there playing hockey, about to start junior hockey, don't don't worry about it too, too much. It's not a significant part of the game and it's becoming less and less relevant altogether. And on that note, actually, some junior leagues have banned it. So in the queue, for example, they, they, made, they gave stiffer penalties for people who do fight. So anyone who's the instigator is going to get ejected for at least one game. Anybody who fights gets ejected for the, the, the rest of that game as well. So it's no longer just a five minute penalty. Maybe other leagues will follow suit too, like the O, the, the WHL, you know, maybe other junior leagues will follow as well. I'm starting to notice in certain uh, junior A leagues in North America that fighting is just less and less, especially the leagues that have uh, the mandatory cages on. You see less and less fights when it's cages versus visors. Uh, in NCAA, really strict uh, fighting rules as well. So more and more overall now it's becoming less and less relevant, but it still exists and it's good to know about. Last part of the video here that I want to touch on is what if you're not a fighter and you're involved in a fight? What do you do? There's two basic things that you can do. So the, the first, and take my advice with a grain of salt here. This is just what my mentors have taught me. If ever you have to defend yourself and you have no choice, there's two main techniques, especially if you're a smaller guy. One, if it's a guy your size, like you see like in the NHL, you try and grab their jersey and just try and keep balance and get them off of balance. That way it makes them landing a punch on you much less likely. And if you really have to, to, to bring some punch, try and move them off and then either up combo of like uppercut and uh, basically uh, a cross punch okay but anyways I'm not a guy that's gonna teach you guys how to fight it's just how, how to defend yourself it's if it's a really big guy that's coming after you and you really have to defend yourself the best thing to do okay is to really grab them with two hands on the jersey get really close and try and do little uppercuts if you try to do the the one hand like this that you see on on TV if it's a bigger guy you're really gonna get you might get hurt doing this because his reach is much much longer than you and you actually risk getting hurt if you do this okay so again try and grab in close and try and stay in close and wrestle them to the ground as soon as possible to avoid getting hurt so I would say that's my two cents on fighting again this isn't a master class as to how to fight be the toughest guy out there how to look for fights not at all that's not the message my message is that focus on your game don't worry about fighting if you're a skilled guy just learn the basics be strong be there to defend yourself ever the situation arises or if ever you need to protect a teammate usually it's not your role but if ever you're in a situation where you have to protect your teammate or yourself to fight just know that like how to do the basics pretty much it's important to know and again I know some parents are gonna come at me for, for this saying you're promoting fighting you're sending the wrong message again that's not the message I want you guys to just be aware protect yourselves be strong and get out of this and get out of the situation unscathed and not hurt so that's why I'm looking out for you guys and making a video on this topic but again take all message here recap of this video is that less and less that fighting is a part of the game it's still part of the game I think it's I think it should still be a part of the game for specific guys to defend their teammates but apart from that if you're a skilled player don't worry too much about it be strong and learn how to defend yourself and you'll be a-okay all right my friends that is it for the video hopefully you guys liked it here if you did absolutely punch that like button as hard as you can and if you're new here consider hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you never miss another video moving forward if you have any questions for us anything whatsoever feel free to drop a comment down below in the comment section if you have any questions you want to send us to us privately send us an email at info at ahadvising.com and we'll get back to you as soon as possible you can also message us on our aha plus group chat and we'll answer your questions for free if you have any that being said guys thank you so much for watching we'll catch you on that next one